How rapidly things have escalated to this point is quite astonishing. The situation is escalating, and we must decide where our allegiance lies. We all have something to say about this. I believe we should align ourselves with the Falrons. We've reached this point largely due to their support. They've been our allies, and turning our backs on them now could jeopardize everything we've achieved. They have the power and resources to help us secure our goals, including our return to Earth. I agree with Molex. The Forens, especially Velera, have done a lot for us. Abandoning them now wouldn't be good for our reputation. Besides, the Forens are the favorites in this war, and being on the winning side would serve us well. I am not convinced that the Falrens are truly our allies. There's something about them that doesn't sit right with me. Aligning with them could be a mistake. The Zegans, on the other hand, might offer us a better path. They seem more genuine in their intentions, and they're equally powerful. I believe siding with the Zegans could lead to a more favorable outcome for us. I have to agree with Anke. The Forens have been helpful, but something feels off about their intentions. The Zayans seem more trustworthy, and I think we should consider their offer seriously. I agree with Drain. The Falrens are likely to win this war. In my opinion, which side we choose doesn't matter as much as returning to Earth safely and quickly. That's why I also think we should side with the Falrens. Molex makes a good point, Bo. The Falrens have been reliable allies, and we've made significant progress with their support. Training them now could be risky. Perhaps staying with them is our best chance to see if this through successfully. Additionally, be aware that all our forces will now integrate with the Alliance. From this point forward, we won't have direct control over our troops or missions. The Alliance will handle all strategic decisions during the war. The final decision is yours. So, what is your decision? Are you certain about this decision? Okay then, may our path be victorious. I'll start making the necessary preparations. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input.
Target shield shield recharge. Target destroyed. Target shields down. Target destroyed. Engine module offline. Engine module offline. Engine module online. Target destroyed. Target shields down. Target destroyed. Weapons overheat.
engine module, engine module online. Landing gear deployed. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Preparations are complete. Let's meet in the cockpit of our mothership to finalize the details. Warning. Warp drive disrupted. General, everything is set. The preparations are complete, and the wormhole is stable. We're ready to make our return to Earth. The war rages on, but we don't need to be part of it any longer. We've done our part, and now it's time to focus on what truly matters getting our people home. We can leave this conflict behind and head for the wormhole. The wormhole will take us directly back to Earth. We'll be sending a Vangna to hail our military team. Thus secure the area and assess the situation on the ground. Once we're sure it's safe. The second wave. The civilian team will follow. So, what is your decision? That's your call, General. 
But understand this. The war could drag on for years. Was no guarantee of victory. Our people have a chance to go home now, to rebuild. You could stay and fight, or you could lead us back to where we belong. Is this your final decision? All right then. I'll deploy the military units to the wormhole. Let's join with the mothership. Landing gear retracted. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. <laughs> Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Destination reached. Module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. General, your presence is just what we needed. We're all set to bring this mission home. All ships are in formation, General. Engines are powered up and jump coordinates are locked. War core at full capacity. Ready on your command, General. It's been a long journey, but it's an honor to be part of this mission. Scanners show all systems green across the fleet. No anomalies detected. This is it, General. We're about to make history. This is Mother Earth reporting in. Final preparations are complete. We're about to make the jump to Earth. All systems are green, Mother Earth. Standing by for your command. Engines primed, coordinates locked, ready to jump on your mark. This is it, uh, everyone. Get ready. Brother, I know you may never be able to forgive me, but I need you to understand why I did what I did. My intention was always to protect our people and secure their future, even if it meant sacrificing our bond. From the very beginning, 
My plan was for you to return to Earth and stay there. The galaxy has no place for us both. And for the future of our people, one of us needed to remain. As your sister, and as someone who shares the same blood as our great commander, it is my duty to take up his mantle. Once you're gone, I will unite the WRA with the Fulrens and lead our people here. Ensuring the place in the galaxy. I had to make some difficult decisions. Ones that I knew would weigh heavily on me. To ensure that you wouldn't return, I took steps to limit your chances. I weakened the support around you, making it harder for you to come back. But when it came to you, I couldn't bear to harm you. Perhaps you can find a way to make Earth a place worth living in again. Perhaps you can do what I could not. If by some miracle you do find your way back, know that I'll be waiting for you. We may stand on opposite sides, but I will always be your sister.